is a shot of the country that uh, I fly the pigeons in. Uh, if we're actually looking towards Mount Lofty there, we're looking along the hills. There's quite a lot of trees around this area. Birds have been having a bath this morning, have been up for a fly already. The birds are enjoying a nice bath there. They won't get out for probably another four days since we're going to have 41 degree temperatures for the next week. Or four days, well four days. Here we are in front of uh, the separate breed, some of my separate breeding pens. Uh, there's uh, a pair of pigeons in each pen. Um, particular hen in here was 10th um, in the 150k race, uh, one loft race in the Mallee Classic and 11th in the 400k race in the Mallee Classic. The cockbird actually was 1st uh, in the Mallee Classic. Uh, the only thing it was a, a old bird so I didn't get any um, prize money. Well, I did as an old bird but I didn't get the $10,000. Uh, the hen's bred by Trevor Haynes. It's a sister to um, fourth in the Adelaide 10,000 one loft race. And uh, it's bred quite a few club and group placings. And uh, it's also a grand dam of 7th uh, of Social Interest YBC against 4,000 odd birds. Uh, the pair in here is um, their Heiskin Van Reel Wickham Jansen. Both of them were bred by the late um, Bill Verko. And this year that pair has bred four pure white pigeons, would you believe? So I'm looking forward to seeing how those white birds are going to fly this year. They're on their last um, babies now. Um, so, yeah, we'll just see how they go. Um, we're in uh, one half of the stock lot. Uh, these are the um, breeding pens. Uh, they're actually on coasters and I turn them around after the breeding season's finished. Just take the uh, fronts off like that and put them in and slide them back there or back that way, whichever the way you want to have them. And I just put the feeders and waters on the uh, outside. The uh, number one stock there. Uh, the best they've done, uh, well, in breeding. Uh, for a, a uh, second uh, Soch YBC and uh, yeah they're a pretty good pair of birds every year they breed me a basically a Soch place bird Cockbird was uh, first in the Mari Cockbird special and he's uh, done quite quite well for himself in the breeding loft too Uh, Cockbird was uh, fifth in the um, Cockbird special and the best he's done so far in the uh, top lock is 7th uh, of um Lindhurst YBC. He's only a young Cockbird so you know there's plenty of years for him yet. Uh, this Cockbird was uh, the fastest bird in the state from Hawker and uh, he hasn't done too bad for himself in the stock lock. Um, bred by Tom Bone. This young cockbird was uh, 31st of Soch, um, very, very hard Ningen uh, last year. Um, I've got him paired up with a Van Ren Woy um, prior hen this year, so see how his babies are going to go. This hen was 2nd uh, of Soch, Lindhurst YBC, uh, and actually its brother um, was 2nd uh, fastest in the state from uh, Hawker out of 7,800 pigeons. Um, they're off from a number one pair. Now, like I said, that, that number one pair breeds some pretty good pairs. This hen was 7th uh, of um Lindhurst YBC. Had a couple of good birds that day. It was 4th um, in the uh, Mallee Classic one loft race. Uh, and its sister the next year was actually 10th in the uh, same race. 
this particular hen was 23rd of Soch uh, Lindhurst and its sister was uh, 8th of Soch Cooperpedia. Unfortunately I lost its sister um, trying to get uh, Bird of the Year in the association. Here we are in front of my uh, race loft. I was very fortunate in uh, obtaining this loft uh, because it cost me only $100. Um, it's five sections with a walkway at the front and um, a trapping bay, although I don't use the trapping bay anymore now because I've got electronic timing. This is um, some of my race team for this year. Ho uh, they're going through the malt at the moment, um, but hopefully they've got the intelligence and the ability to perform well this year. that I've got on the floor is very similar to uh, Easy Bed, which is used in a lot of lofts in the uh, in uh, England. And underneath that Easy Bed, I've got a warm ply floor. Um, the actual loft is uh, about 30 centimetres off the ground one end, and about one metre the other end. I find that the uh, birds really like the Easy Bed. They're always seem to be lying in it and relaxed in it and uh, it's really easy to keep clean too and also of course keeps the loft very dry and warm. <laughs> 